Welcome to R3D Research and Deployment. Uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a little review of the uh, the helmet, Chicago Electric, um, the model of it, and uh, some other things as well. So let's get right into it. Okay, so obviously the Chicago Electric uh, Auto Darkening Welding Helmet. Um, I did get the item number 63122. Uh, that will come into play a little bit later on. And I also got a couple of uh, the multi-purpose magnet holders. I got this one for small metals and then one for a little bit more heavier duty stuff. Um, and these things just make it so, so simple to get good angles and hold pieces of metal if you're by yourself and don't have an assistant. Um, so, yep, nope, let's get into it. Okay. Got our, our trusty box opener up. Pretty standard, one helmet, one user manual. Will come helpful. So, first things first, obviously you have the, the liner, you can peel this off, leave it on, whatever. Now the reason why I told you the, um, the actual item number, the 63122, is you can get two different helmets. Uh, you can get the red one, that's, uh, that's all painted, actually it's a little bit uh, different color, you can get this blue one. But the reason why I wanted that specific item number, and I'll show you this here if I can get a good shot of it. Let me see. Inside this helmet, it has these, these, these knobs right here. Now, they're not switches, and so on some of the other models, they'll come with only um, an on or an off position for the sensitivity and for the delay of time it comes on. This particular model actually has the nice analog uh, knob so where you can really dial it in. Also, if over the years of using the off and on, off and on switch style, those switches can go out quite easily. Whereas these knobs, when they do go out, usually it's portions or sections of the of the knob that go out and you can still use other parts of the delay you can make it more sensitive or non-sensitive and it may have some glitchy areas but these I've seen these tend to last a little bit longer under under daily use so that's why I went for that model so not too bad pretty straightforward obviously going to be getting into the uh, magnet holder love these things super cheap last oh my god just great you can do all kinds of different all kinds of different uh angles of it obviously i got the bigger thicker one that uh, can accommodate it has a bigger surface therefore a bigger hunker fat piece of steel or or uh, i can do a little bit more with this a little tinier ones more for doing smaller jobs that can be a little bit more manageable to work with. You're working for smaller pieces of metal and you're just trying to get into little small intricate spots where the big one won't fit. A lot of times this little small one will work well. And again, you know, just one thing. And these things weld on them all day long and they'll work just fine. So I just figured this, these just really come into handy. They just really come into good play when you're working by yourself and whatnot. And uh, so. Again, yeah, we'll have to do a uh, testing out in the field to see how these guys uh, perform under, uh, under the pressure. 
But uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty excited. I have an extra uh, the, the uh, mask that came with the uh, MiG-170, which is the reason why I bought these three things. I wanted to do, basically, it was about 240 bucks for the helmet, the magnet, and the welder. So for 200, under 250 bucks, I already have the gloves and some of the uh, other safety equipment that you would I would suggest and when we do the uh, field deployment and we'll have to cover those as well but for the price point you can get yourself into doing some pretty good gauge of uh, steel and metal and and really hit the races running do a little bit of uh, small stuff as well as big stuff so again thank you for watching please subscribe hit the thumbs up button down below and uh, we'll be out there in the field doing some more videos so thank you and God bless